So I got the fading tube fitted a year ago and it really wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. I spoke to the MND nurse and she explained all the pros and cons of the operation and she explained how MND may affect my ability to swallow. So it was important to get this done before I had difficulties in eating or drinking. But it was my decision 100% to get the tube fitted. So the big thing was to get the tube fitted before I needed it and especially before my breathing was compromised. The actual operation was very quick. I went into the afternoon, the next morning I got the operation, the following morning I was released from hospital. They put a very thin tube up my nose, down my throat, they inflate my stomach so they can see where to make a small incision in my belly and put the tube in. Some people get the operation done another way where they swallow a small tube with a camera on the end so they can see exactly where to make the incision. Now I got my tube fitted a year ago and I still luckily have not had to use it because I can still swallow. There may come a point where I have to use it and at least I have the comfort in knowing it's done, it's ready. So when I do have to use it, it's there. Now my wife was a little bit worried about looking after the tube initially, but looking after the tube is fairly straightforward. Twice a day, we spin the tube round a couple of times and flush it through with water. So now this is just part of our daily routine and there's nothing to worry about. My advice is get the fitting tube fitted well before you need it while you're still fit and healthy to have the operation done. To find out more, ask your clinical specialist or look it up on mndscotland.org.uk or care-mnd.org.uk